I popped my head up of, over the booth and I saw like the barrel of a gun like like poked into the patio room. I saw just the, the tip of it and it was at that point that I legitimately thought I was about to get shot. Michael Anderson was working as a bartender at the Q nightclub in Colorado Springs, which unfortunately was the target of a mass shooting. Five people died as a result. Dozens of others are injured, some of whom are in current are currently in critical condition. Now, what we know so far is that the suspect used an AR-15 style rifle. The shooting took place over the weekend on Saturday night and authorities have placed the shooter in custody. He was injured and is currently in the hospital, but is facing 10 felony charges, including murder and hate crime related charges. Now, why would they charge him with a hate crime? Well, it's because of the fact that Q nightclub is an LGBTQ nightclub in Colorado Springs. The mass shooting occurred just before the Transgender Day of Remembrance on November 20th, an annual observance that honors the memory of the transgender people whose lives were lost in acts of anti-transgender violence, according to GLAAD. Now, the suspected shooter has been taken into custody. Um, and it turns out that a bar patron or as many as two bar patrons were able to subdue him. As people were running out of the, the club, two others uh, decided to run toward the shooter and they managed to subdue him. In fact, in the next video, you're gonna hear from Mayor John Southers of Colorado Springs, who says that the person who subdued him uh, is a hero. Let's watch. The call came into the police at 11.57 p.m. Uh, police were on the scene by 12, an amazingly uh, quick response. This incident was over by 12.02, and that's largely because of the intervention of uh, at least one, possibly two very heroic individuals who sub subdued this guy, uh, appears to have taken his handgun, he had a handgun with him, uh, and used it to uh, uh, disable him. And so, uh, not shoot him, but to uh, hit him with the gun and uh, disable him. But for that, uh, as tragic as this incident is, it's a horrible crime. It could have been much, much worse, worse but for these uh, heroic actors. So if it weren't for those two nightclub patrons subduing him, he could have killed more people. Now of the 25 individuals who are injured, 19 of them are suffering from gunshot wounds. And authorities have identified the 22 year old shooter, Anderson Lee Aldridge, who had at least two firearms with him. One of which was the AR-15 style rifle, the other was a handgun. Here are a few more details about the suspect from CNN. Police have identified the suspected shooter as 22-year-old Anderson Lee Eldridge. Police say he entered the club just before midnight on Saturday and began shooting immediately with a long rifle. Two weapons were found at the scene. More details are emerging about the suspected shooter, including a 2021 arrest for felony menacing and first-degree kidnapping, according to a news release at the time. After his mother says he threatened her with a homemade bomb and other weapons. Now, there are murky details about the run in with police that he had in 2021. For instance, we know that he had five felony charges, but the prosecutor, the district attorney, decided against prosecuting him. His mother was the one who called the police on him. She was later posting on social media asking for help to find legal counsel for her son. But that's what we know so far. I have a few other details to share, but Jenk, I want to get your thoughts first. Yeah, so every person who is a right winger who advocated for laws against LGBTQ folks is guilty. Every religious person who said that homosexuality is a sin is guilty. So now, important caveat, I was religious. I know what religion's like, I know what growing up in religion's like. And so I know that not all of you meant it in a hateful way. You were taught that, but I'm here to be honest with you guys. You were brainwashed. You were brainwashed into this hatred, and you keep saying it over and over and over again. Do you know what's wrong with homosexuality? Nothing, zero, nothing. 
according to your own ideology, God created them that way. What could possibly be wrong with God's creation? Are you saying God made a mistake? Are you that arrogant? Are you that opposed to God, according to your own ideology? So, no, you have pastors, and you look, people who watch the Young Turks for many years have seen me say this a thousand times because there's, because there's a very good reason for it. There's a thousand things in the Bible that your preachers and your right wing evangelical leaders ignore all the time because they don't give a damn what's in the Bible. It says in the same Leviticus, you shall not lie with a man and you shall not eat shellfish, red lobster, shrimp, crabs, whatever. Have you ever, ever heard a right wing evangelical leader say that? No, because they're liars. You think they haven't read it? You think they haven't read the Bible and all the things that are an abomination? So why do they ignore the parts that are not focused on hate, but then take the parts that are focused on hate and glorify it? You think this is an accident that these, in the most conservative area of Colorado, a lunatic goes and targets gay people to murder? It's not at all an accident. It's driven not by, hey, you know what? Trump said this and the lunatics on the right said that recently. Yes, sure, they have massive blame. The Republican Party is 100% guilty. They have passed over 600 laws against the LGBTQ community just since 2018, 100% guilty. If you're a Republican, you drove this hatred. You drove it, it's your fault, okay? But it's, but my point overall is, guys, it isn't just the last couple of years where they drove that hatred. My whole life, my whole life, right wing religious leaders have said, hate gay people, hate them, hate them, hate them. Oh, oh I, I'm not saying hate the sinner, but the sin, they're sinning. It is not a goddamn sin. It isn't. If it is, then eating shrimp is just as bad, and you will roast in goddamn hell for it. Are you, did you ever hear that? No, because for God's sake, they're lying to you. Stop murdering gay people because you're, Leaders are hateful, they're drenched in blood. You think there's not gonna be another shooting at a gay club or anywhere else involving LGBTQ people? You're crazy, of course there's gonna be another shooting. And of course it's gonna be a right winger. And of course it's gonna be a right winger that was taught, it's a sin, it's a sin, it's immoral. The people who taught you that are at themselves deeply evil. And in your lingo, they're satanic. They are hugely immoral, despicable people. There is absolutely nothing wrong with homosexuality or the homosexual act. If anyone tells you that, tell them that they're an agent of hate and you will not tolerate it. So when it comes to public figures who decided that they would spend all of their time campaigning on anti-transgender, you know, vile anti-transgender garbage, yeah, I, th I think that they are absolutely responsible. And for anyone who might be offended by that, I mean, I just would like you to recall when, you know, there would be ISIS related terrorist attacks either here or in, in Europe. And the right wing wanted every single Muslim person, even if they had nothing to do with it whatsoever, even if their interpretation of their religious doctrine was very much different from ISIS, even if their uh, belief in, in Islam differed from that of, of ISIS and the terrorists who would commit these vile acts. The conservatives wanted Muslims to answer for it, to apologize for it, to condemn it, right? But you, and they had nothing to do with it. In this case, you literally have Endless campaigns of hatred toward the LGBTQ community, and as of late, mostly toward the transgender community, right? And that's what they campaign on. And that's I, what they hang their hat on. That's what their political uh, action really centers on. There's nothing else that they want to offer their constituents or to the American people. It's just hate, 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 hate. While they, of course, in the background, assist corporations in robbing you blind, right? Yeah, yeah that's and, and gonna I, lead to, in a country full of people who don't have health insurance, who don't have health co coverage, and who have mental health issues that go undiagnosed and untreated. Yeah, this stuff happens. It happens more often than, than we, I mean, it happens way more often than we could have even predicted, honestly. And and it doesn't matter, they're not gonna stop, Jake. They're not gonna stop, they don't so care, no, they're no, not no, gonna no, stop. I don't, I don't care either. And let, let me explain something, I don't care if they're offended. I don't care at all. 
If you're a right wing religious person who your whole life has been telling people, you should, gay people are sinful, they commit sins, sin, sin, sin. Okay, you are a terrible person. Maybe you didn't know you were a terrible person, but I'm telling you now, wake up. Did you ever go tell people that are eating lobster, you're sinful, you're going to goddamn hell? No, you never did because you're an effing liar. Okay, so wake up, and I don't care if you're offended, I care that those people are dead. And you're gonna get somebody else killed. When you keep talking about how people are immoral just for who they are, you don't get it. You're the immoral one. If you're a right wing evangelical religious nutcase who is constantly talking about how homosexual acts are sins, you are evil. You're the definition of evil and you get people killed. All right. One other thing I wanted to mention, and this doesn't necessarily mean anything in regard to the shooter himself, but it does give you some background in regard to who he's surrounded with and what kind of political beliefs exist within his family. Um, so it turns out that his grandfather is an assembly member here in California, a Republican who actually just got voted out of office during the midterm elections. His area was redistricted, which forced him to run against another Republican and the other Republican won. Now, Randy Vopel is his name. And as you can see in the image, he is very much a MAGA Republican who spews all sorts of terrible things, including he likes to provide cover for the January 6th uh, you know, rioters. Of course, uh, he, he loves violence, yeah. he's a Republican. So Aldrich is the grandson of outgoing California Republican State Assembly member Randy Vopel. The former mayor of Santee, California, Vopel represents the 71st district in the San Diego area. There were calls to expel him from the state assembly after he made comments comparing the January 6, 2021 attack on the Capitol to the Revolutionary War. And he was quoted as saying, this is Lexington and Concord, first shots fired against tyranny. So I mean, it gives you like just completely in agreement with what the rioters did. Tyranny will not follow in the aftermath of the Biden swear in on January 20th. According to the San Diego Union Tribune, Vopel later tweeted that he condemned violence and lawlessness. Yeah, except for the parts where you were celebrating it. By the way, there's another code word for you guys, the tyranny of government. When the right wingers talk about that, it is always attached to the second amendment. The tyranny of government that you must fight back through with your guns, right? Guns, 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 go kill, go kill people, go kill people. That's what Republicans say all the time. That is the talk of the, you must fight against the second amendment is for the tyranny of government. Oh, They're oppressing me, Oh my God, I have to go murder them, I have to go murder them. That's what the right wingers teach you. And then when they have their most unstable lunatics go and actually commit the acts, they act all surprised. <gasps> oh my God, did we have you guys murdered again? <laughs> what? It's another mistake. It's our 1,000th mistake in a row. I guess our deranged lunatics thought we meant it when we said go grab your guns and kill people. Oh, it was gay people, the people we've been demonizing for hundreds of years, thousands of years. And we directed them right towards the target. And then we're gonna pretend to be surprised. Oh, did they kill you guys? Ha ha ha. I bet you guys had a good laugh over it. No, the right wing in this country are monsters. Are you offended? Are you? You whole your whole life you've been telling people that they're immoral by nature? Now you're gonna get offended? Please, go ahead. I hope your heart breaks with a, how offended you are. I'm sick of you guys getting people murdered day in and day out. By the way, all those hateful stereotypes against gay people too, who are the biggest heroes in the country? They went and tackled them with no guns, no nothing. The two guys that were in that bar, presumably they're in the LGBTQ community and they tackled them because they're, they're brave, they're brave and they save God knows how many lives. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.